Hello and welcome to this Studio Brutal video on how to make drones in Ableton Live. I've made a free rack that goes with this, you can get that in the description below, like I said it's totally free so go and get that. And yeah, please like and subscribe if you can as well. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Basically this is, I'm going to put a kick drum under it, um, because drones are good for ambient music but they're also good in like dub techno or, or techno or whatever, so I'm, uh, I'm going to do it with a kick under it. Um, yeah, this uses just Ableton Operator and some general effects that come with Ableton and it's I've made it in Ableton 10 so if you so if you've got an old version of Ableton back to 10 you can um, you'll be fine it should work if it doesn't let me know please in the comments below so yeah let's get into it. I'll, sh I'll show you how to play with the macros in a bit but first of all I'm gonna just run through how you make a patch like this so it's playing one note you could just play the whole bar C3 this is playing you play what you like whatever's in key with the piece of music you're making and I'm just switch that kick off and then it's got um, it's got this chord thing so it makes a chord it makes a fifth up which is plus seven is a fifth up and an octave down so it's playing if I take those off it just sounds like this which is still quite a cool sound to be honest but um, and that's an octave that, that is that's already quite cool that's like an, the same note an octave down and that's a fifth up yeah I mean you could add in other stuff as well like in minor keys like that but yeah I'll leave it like that for now and if you know how to play the piano and stuff you can switch this off and play whatever chords you like obviously um, yeah and then there's, there's an operator which is um, just turn some of these down a bit so yeah there's an operator which is um, uh, it's got this routing I don't know if you can see that so so yeah it's um it's a B if I switch D off D does D does FM to all these three so these three each are rooted to the filter they don't modulate each other but then D modulates them all uh, a is a saw wave uh, so it's B with the different saw waves um, a lower resolution than a normal one, the 8 bit and 4 bit ones, which give it a bit of grit, to, uh, but only a little bit. Um, it's not, it, it's uh, it just makes them a bit different from each other, so they they, they, they detune against each other better. And there's a sine wave in there, and then the uh, the D, which is the operator, is basically a sine wave, but I've um, cut into it with the mouse, you know, where you can draw your own so it is uh, not a very nice sine wave it's off harmonically which means it will it will cause more harmonics uh, richer harmonics um, when it's used as FM but it's almost a sine wave basically um, that's the reason you have these 4 bit and 8 bit sine waves because when you use them to modulate uh, an oscillator as a, an FM source it, um, it can add it adds richer harmonics and so yeah instead of using those ones I've clicked on sine wave and then just drawn it with the mouse to sort of make it a bit off um, and yeah that that is it on the oscillators then they go to the to the filter which is excellent here uh, um, it's got one of the analog modeling uh, algorithms if you want to call it that it's PRD uh, it's got filter drive so it's distorting a bit and then it's got the shaper so it's distorting it there as well I'll, um, I'll show you if I stick the drive up you can get those really rich um, distorted drones and then if I stick the shaper up it's, 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 um, it's obviously a lesser effect but it's a really nice uh, distortion um, it's adding harmonic content basically um, and you don't want to go heavy distortion for a drone I think but you want to do lots of little distortions so you add lots of different harmonic contents uh, basically so yeah that's operator uh, oh yeah there's an LFO on operator which controls uh, the volume of D so it controls the FM uh, if I take it off it, it's not making a huge difference but it's just making the FM wobble a bit if I turn that if I turn if I'm, I'm turning up that, that level you'll hear it more now I'll put them back to where they were um, so yeah that's it I think uh, that is it for operator yeah do they have any feedback on them I don't think so yeah that's it um, 
Then this chorus, which is really good on the drone. I'll switch that off. It's such a long effects chain, to be honest. These are all really little, um, I'll go for each one, but they're all really little changes. But the, the, the chorus is really good, especially if you use feedback, uh, which is here. It gets like these sort of, um, you know, like, I don't know, sort of like bleat, not, um, you can hear it. It's, it's adding like, uh, you know, sort of UFO sounds almost to the background. Uh, then there's a little bit of distortion, only 5% drive on the overdrive. And there's another chorus with feedback. If I switch them off. You know, they're just thickening the sound a bit more and giving it movement. Uh, again, there's, a, there's an echo unit here, which is set to stereo delay, so that so the delays ping pong, they move. Like, but if you've got headphones on, it moves between your headphones with the feedback. If you've got speakers, good speakers, you'll hear it as well. Uh, that's to thicken the sound as well across the sort of a, across the stereo width. Then we've got this filter here, which if I switch off, you can hear what it's, what it's doing. Again, it's subtle. But it's basically uh, got an LFO that's doing this a little bit subtly, um, just really subtly in a square wave. And I've set it up so you can control that here, and that's what it's doing basically. Uh, so you can control the amount there. Um, then there's another filter after it, which cuts out the low end, uh, and again that's got an LFO on it, and that is making it do this but really slightly, just to give it a sort of wobble and some depth, you can change it all. You can, you can change all these settings and uh, the timing of it if you want. But it's all synced in the beat, so when it's under a drum beat, it makes sense, you know? Especially that one before. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Um, then after that filter, which is the third filter now, because there's one in operator, then two individual ones. And that's got a bit of drive on that filter as well, just to give it a little bit more harmonics and, and nice distortion without going too heavy. Then there's another drum bus, and, and these are all driving distorting the signal that's been delayed as well. So all that, that thickness, which is all those reverb, all the tails, the delay tails are being distorted slightly as well. Then there's a drum bus here which has got a lot of quite a lot of crunch and a bit of drive but it's it's default set to quite low 10% so you can automate it in here i think it, yeah, it's labeled as late distortion it's quite a nice sound it just adds a like a yeah thick harmonics to it really slight harmonics um, just a nice distortion and then there's at the end there's a reverb which is set to quite a long decay time almost 5 seconds and the wet drive for that is, is set up the front as well. So you can sort of pull it back in from absolute wet reverb. Like that. So yeah, that's um, you have quite, a long, uh, quite a long chain of effects. And they all do a little bit to make it thicker or fatter or more harmonic or wider, uh, basically. Or a little bit more detuned. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then I've set the most uh, important ones up. Uh, on the macros like I have for most of my patches and the first the first one is um, is D is the FM it's the FM level if I turn that up it's just adding it's basically just turning up the uh, the, the signal level of the FM operator if I switch it off and then C course is um, is one of the normal oscillators that sort of analog modeling if, with this routing uh, just so you can tweak the pitch so that's, that's quite nice if you turn it up because it's, it I mean on its own turning it up it wouldn't sound good but it's in such a thick signal chain that it's uh, it sounds really good yeah so that's that one it's just turning up the the course tuning and then I've got filter drive and all of these can be used together this is a really nice one uh, if so I can so I can you know try and go for that that thick sort of I don't know Danny Avery sound if you want to call it that um, of driving something hard into a filter and then there's filter resonance which 
which can scream. So be care be careful with hot if you've got headphones on. Um, so yeah, put it back to where it was. Um, and then uh, then you've got chorus feedback, which I showed you before. Which with drive will sound really good. It adds that sort of alien little art artifacts to it. And then uh, that rhythmic filter that cuts the sound in, cuts that low passes the sound in the square wave, LFO. And the more distorted it is before that, the more you you'll hear it like that. Yeah, and then you've got that last distortion, the, the, which is the uh, crush and drive on the drum bus towards the end of the chain, which is quite subtle. If you if you want it to be uh, more less subtle, you can just come over here and whack these up, and you can get sort of t much noisier territory. Um, I'll put that back to where it was, and then you've got that reverb. And yeah, they could all be used together. So yeah, that's it. That's a little drone I made. I will probably make more drones as well because I really, I really enjoy doing this one. Um, but yeah, that's it. Get the patch for free. It's in the description below. And please give us a like and subscribe or a comment. Uh, if you want any more patches, like just put it in a request below. And I'll see what I can do. I really like making these. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, that's it from me. Good luck with your music making and uh, have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.